And we continue with the Christmas series, The Autumn in Review. The men's fashion channels always tout boots are the big essential need in terms of footwear for the fall. It rains, it gets wet, and you need something sturdy. I can tell you that it rains in a few weeks of September, and then after that it's bone dry. And I expected as much for 2022 because it seemed typical of any autumn time here in Charlotte. When we went to the Greek festival, however, it was a downpour. Crossing East Boulevard in the morning, uh, skipping over ponds that pulled on the sidewalk, it seemed suddenly like a journey, not a simple stroll. You had to climb the little hills to get past the pond, but you soiled your sneakers in the process. And I ended up hand washing my beloved Asics afterwards, and the tub turned brown from all that dirt and mud I had to scrub from the soles, all caked beneath. And then I felt it necessary to trot through the puddles of water, hoping to wash them off. October is an anomaly. The postcard image would have you see it as chilly and frightfully cold at night, to coincide with the coming of Halloween. But again, it's an extension of summer, and even at night you're breaking a sweat. In the past, I've had to sleep with two fans on and the window open. I mean, you can feel the heat blowing through like one of those portable heaters you have in your office in the winter. But October had grown chilly. Suddenly I was wearing my boot socks and sweaters and barely breaking a sweat. Huh. It finally happened, I thought to myself with a mixture of delight and surprise. We normally go to the Renaissance Festival in November because that's when it's typically cold. On October 8th we went to the Dragon Boat Festival in Huntersville and it was a mixture of chilly and warm. I did wear long sleeves and was grateful I did. I expected November would be as cold as October, but I ended up wearing just a long sleeve shirt. I didn't wear boots or thick socks because my feet would sweat. I mean, why would I? The week after we went, and we went the first Saturday of November, the temperature suddenly plunged. And we looked at each other and wondered, why didn't we go this weekend? It's a bit curious, and this year we'll probably shoot for the second or third week of November just to avoid the sudden heat wave that may arise in the last week of October and first week of November. 